As I was enjoying some delicious bubble kelp, I had what could possibly be the best idea in human history. What if I could train a shrimp to remove invasive parasites from other shrimps? I know it sounds crazy, but I'm pretty sure that if I find the right shrimp smart enough to start a revolution and wage a war against these invasive isopod parasites, we might have a chance at saving this shrimp species. So now I gotta find the right shrimp. But first, I found all these jellyfish laying on the beach just trying to dry up and die. So, one by one, I yeeted them back into the water. Eee! All right, there's a couple more jellyfish. Why not save their lives too? Bye, little fellas. Now it's time to find the shrimp. While I was slurping in the thick, sticky mud, I kept pulling out only parasites, meaning the shrimp was too big to slurp out of the hole, and so the parasite literally got sucked out of its gill flap. I guess it saves me some time on the parasite removal, and it gives these sea chickens an awesome snack. Anyways, we'll keep looking. I know we're gonna find a shrimp because these parasites are so common in this species of shrimp. I mean, so common that the population of these shrimp decreased by 20% every single year, and that percentage is rising. Let's go remove this parasite from little shrimpy here. Parasite's right there. You can see the white male parasite underneath the gill flap. And this little shrimpy's name is Scotty. And what Scotty doesn't know is he's going to be the savior of his entire species. So now it's time for me to teach Scotty what he needs to do in order to save his family and his friends. So this is the parasite that's been infecting your gills. It's actually happening to tons of your other friends and family. So what I want you to do is know that these parasites live inside of your gills. And if you can go and start your own movement, removing these parasites one by one, maybe, we can win this war against these invasive parasites. The success of this mission depends on whether or not he can burrow in time. In just two short weeks, we're gonna check up on these shrimp. We're gonna take 20 of these shrimp out of the mud. And if less than 30% of the shrimp have parasites, that means we're making progress. So like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next video.